you know, my, my parents got divorced. I was 14. My mother was a very, very dominant, domineering personality. Her complaint was always that my dad didn't take more of the lead mm -hmm. and that she was resentful towards him. And she oh, yeah. definitely did. You know, she was even for the rest of her life. I mean, she went on to become very successful in many different ways. And, but, um, <laughs> saying no, like, you know, my, a moment I'm very proud of like the teenage boy I was at the time was the day that I finally had the balls to stand up to her and tell her no. And it was not pretty. It was not pretty at all. And uh, it was a series of no's that ended up then having me like just leave the house uh, for good. But it makes me wonder how many, how many young men today, because so many are being raised by single mothers, mm -hmm. how many of them are even saying no to their mother if it's, you know, especially if they're, somehow she's about to cross a boundary or it, uh, it's going to somehow... Uh, it, it goes against his conscience or whatever the case. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think that uh, I know for myself, it was, it was very hard to do because no one likes to be an asshole <laughs> to their mother, you know, but I wonder, I wonder how many young men today haven't even learned to say no to their mothers. Yeah. Well, like single mother households, while their intention is, generally and genuinely good often they they can't turn boys into men they just can't you know they've tried for decades we've seen what the results are uh the vast majority of the incarcerated come from single mother households runaway teens single mother households teenage pregnancies single mother households teenage pregnancies like you know you, you keep going right down the list and, and and the results aren't good i think if you compare the data to, to single father households which is I mean, this is much, much different, smaller subset. There's fewer uh, children that are raised by their fathers, whether they're with or, you know, whatever it happens to be. But um, I think single mother households, generally speaking, are regarded by those that understand what they're about are essentially beta factories. Uh, they turn boys into beta males. They turn boys into these agreeable, placated, softer, mushier version of masculine men that preceded them. And that's just a function of the nurture, right? So I think one of the things that boys, if they're watching this, that are younger or men that might, you know, perhaps uh, not have good access to their uh, sons and daughters, you know, should contemplate is good, good access to strong, virtuous men that are good at, good at being men and are good men is only going to be a positive service, you know, for children. But women don't get it they don't understand that you know they think that because a child comes out of their body that they own the rights to it and that's one of the problems in in family court today is you see a lot of women still fighting for custody and courts still give the vast majority of custody orders you know to mothers um but they but they don't do it for the right reasons like these women are generally doing it because there's financial incentives for uh, child support when they're the primary caregiver they get a lot more money if they have the kids 80 percent of the time versus 50-50, you know, it's just the way that it works. And it's not just money to cover the costs of being a parent and, you know, putting clothes on the kid's back and taking them the extracurriculars. It's, it's considerably more than what's required to cover those basic costs. Uh, they also have the power to make unilateral decisions without the father's consent in many places in the world. Um, you know, if they want to, if they meet Bill, the guy from the, uh, accounting department at the company that they work at where they're the receptionist and they want to get married or move state or there's a job relocation if she's a primary caregiver and has custody often she can do it without the father's consent she can just take the kid and leave if she wants to hyphenate the kid's last name or uh, perform a medical procedure the father may not necessarily agree with that's fine you know so i think you know the whole notion that women are uh, raising most children today I think the number is something like 43% of kids in North America are being raised in a single parent household. They don't say single mom because that's disparaging, but they'll say single parent household. But we all know the vast majority of kids today are being raised by their mothers. And again, you know, women are great at lots of things like nurturing, softness, loving, you know, stuff like that. Like they're more agreeable on a balance of probabilities than what men are, but they don't turn boys into men.
like I said earlier, they turn boys into these uh, essentially pathetic beta males. They, what they generally do to sort of like clarify that a little bit further is they turn their sons into the men that they want essentially to be with on a long-term basis, right? So it's why you see a lot of these boys that are just basically mama's boys. Like you hear women today, oh, I'm tired of dealing with these mama's boys. They still live at home or, you know, the mom does the laundry and cooks for them and they expect that sort of thing, you know, from me. Um, I think that a lot of these guys, you know, these women turn into men that they think uh, boys should become agreeable, which is hilarious because we also know in another breath that women aren't that attracted to men that are agreeable and placated and say yes to everything. They want to be with a giant. They want to be with a leader. They want to, you know, be with a guy that can make it rain, that can make money, that can solve problems, that's competent, that's interesting. Um, and they don't generally do that. Again, you know, they're mostly beta factories that, that, that pump out these soft versions of men that they kind of wish that they were with in a long-term basis to look at them. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.